Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we have something kind of interesting. This thing right here is the P1000 Rat, and it was built by the Gorog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Essentially what we're going to do is take a little look at this thing. We're going to drive it down the runway, we're going to see how fast it can go, because of course you need to check that out. And we're going to go ahead and check out all of the guns on this thing, including the main ones in the middle. Anyway, let's climb up, see how we get inside, and have a little look around. Okay, so apparently there are some stairs on the side. Let's go ahead and climb up those, and uh, we're on top of the beast. Now, we have some anti-aircraft guns on the front. Uh, on, oh, well, on the front of the back. I don't know if that makes much sense. Uh, but these things are light auto cannons, and... Oh my! Oh my! They fire very, very quickly. Um, so that's kind of cool. They don't actually have a sight on them, but it's interesting. Okay, so what is the next thing? We actually have these guys right here. I don't know whether we get inside of these guns. I'm going to go ahead and assume we do, but I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look, you can sit inside. So there is a loader and there is a gunner. Okay, so these are supposed to be, um, what, mouse? M uh, mouse guns. Or turrets, I should say. So one of the biggest tanks uh, that was ever designed, uh, that was actually somewhat realistic and two prototypes were built, uh, that's what this is. Anyway, uh, how do we load it and actually shoot it? So, two-sided button. Where does that go? What the? <laughs> I don't know where that goes. Um, all right, we need to figure this out. So, fire primary cannon is one, and fire secondary cannon is two. Oh, there you go. So, that one actually fires. But the loader, how do we do this? <laughs> how do we do this? All right, I need one of these. Okay, so we go ahead and we... How do I open the breach? I need to open the breach. Space bar. Okay, load it in, close breach, and then sit in the other seat, and then we can fire the main gun. Nice! Okay, that's pretty cool. Where does this go? I want to I want to know where this goes. Uh, okay, so it goes down into the belly of the beast, and it just has all of the ammo in here. Interesting. Okay, back up we go. Got weird little elevators. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, jump outside. We don't need to be in there anymore. Uh, it's a little bit scary in there, actually. Um, we got the same on the other side, so we got the anti-aircraft gun, we got the mouse gun as well. Uh, to get inside, I think we just go down here. Have a little look. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm inside. Oh, I'm inside. There's the engine. Okay, we have a map zoom. What do you mean, map zoom? There's just a random throttle lever there. That's weird. But yeah, we're inside the engine room, that's pretty good. We have firefighting uh, stuff right there. We've got it inside of the engine room itself, all over the place. Uh, to turn on the engines, just do this. Oh my, okay, they're all running. I'm gonna get out of there before anything explodes. And we're gonna head forwards. These are all just gearboxes, I think. They are. I am currently bouncing, by the way. Just as a side note. Uh, we have an infirmary uh, somewhere. What's this? Pump water out. We have an airlock. There's no way we can drive this thing in the water, right? We're gonna have to check that out. Uh, the lights in here are very dull, but that's fine. Let's make our way forwards. See if we can figure out where to drive this from. Okay, so right is anti-infantry. Okay, what is this? Oh, we got two little guns on the front, don't we? We do. So this gun right here is the anti-infantry gun. And presumably, we've got one of these on the other side. Let's go check, actually. Do -do 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 -do. Down the stairs. Up to the other side. Yes. Okay, all the way around here and through here. In oh, here we go. Yeah, so you can actually shoot from this side, too. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So it's got loads of little mini guns on the front, too. Nice. Oh, and I suppose I should show you guys all of the extra ammo there is. Uh, there's lots of extra ammo. And also, it seems to be glitching out a little bit, so I'm going to move away from that. Uh, where do we control this thing from? Navigator slash radio operator. Okay, so a map and a radio person. Very nice. Let's go out to the other side. What's back here? Canteen and storage. This is a pantry for the uh, food. And then this is where we eat. This is the barracks. Wait, what do you mean this is the barracks? Oh, there's beds in here too, I see. All right, where do I drive this thing from? That's that's the thing I'm trying to find right now. It must be through here, right? Question mark. Hull gunner. Oh yeah, we've got an extra gun in the hull. So right here on the front, we have another battle cannon that we can load with ammunition too. So if I open the breach of space bar, behind us is where the ammo is. Go ahead and put it in there. Sit back down, close the breach. We can actually shoot this thing. Um, it does actually aim left and right a little bit. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, it fires. Three, two, one. Nope, that's not how you fire it. Ready? Three, two, one. No, 
Nice! Okay, I need to make this thing move now, and I also want to try and figure out how to fire the big guns on the top. I may have found it. I'm not sure, but I might have found it. So, open this up. Yes! Get inside up here. This is the two main guns on the top. We have the main turret gunner too. We can fire the left one and we can fire the right one. Three, two, one. Nice! Oh, that's cool. So we can actually aim these guys as well and shoot them if we want to. Brilliant! That's really good. Oh, and we could have started up here. I see. Okay, right. How do I drive, though? That's that's the one thing that I'm really trying to find, is how you actually drive the vehicle. So we've got an airlock there, we've got an airlock there. Infirmary here. Okay, where's the driver's seat? Wait, where is the driver's seat? I don't know. Oh, wait, is it this thing? Oh, here we go, driver. Okay, we found it. Everything's very gray, so it's actually kind of hard to see in here. Uh, but we have cameras for everything. There's apparently some damage on the side somewhere. Uh, oh, yeah, it's... It's glitching out a little bit. Gear up. Okay, and handbrake off. Okay, yeah, we're moving. Gear up. There we go. Gear up again. How many gears do we have? There's only two. <laughs> there is only two gears. This is slow. This is a slow boy. I was assuming it would be a little bit faster than this. I'm not going to lie. Because I need to get to the water, and I don't think I'm going to be able to. But anyway, let's try and turn ourselves around. I think there's some water over there. Let's try and get to that. Okay, I, I have a feeling that this might be impossible to get to, but we're going to go ahead and try it anyway. So we have to get up and over, and then I don't know whether we're going to be able to smash down a bunch of trees with this, but we might have to try and do that too. I think we've got the ground clearance for it, so it might be possible. <laughs> it might actually be possible. But yeah, we're going to try and get up and over this hill and slam into the trees and get into the water. I don't see why it would go in the water, though. Does it have any propellers? I just don't get why there's an airlock. That's that's my main my main thing here. My main query. All right. Would we say that this is working, or would we say that this isn't working? Uh, the whole thing is seemingly sliding sideways. I'm not entirely sure how that's happening, but it is. I don't think we're powerful enough to get up and over the hill. <laughs> if we can't get over the hill, that's ridiculous. But we're going to try. Come on. Power! That's what we need. I might drop a gear. Oh, I don't think that's going to help, actually. I don't think that's going to help. We're already stressing the engines with our RPM anyway, but here we go. We weigh a lot. Hopefully, we can knock down some trees. Please say we can get up here. We are slowly making it, by the way. We're actually, we are actually getting there. All right. Yeah, we're doing it. Yes, tree fell over. Okay, fantastic. Oh, we're doing it. Yes. Go through the trees. Knock them all down. Just knock them all down. We're coming through. <laughs> we are coming through. Excuse me. If there's any trees that don't want to get knocked down, please get out of the way because that would be very annoying. Uh, but we're just going to make our way through. Yes. Okay. So one thing I would say is excellent about this thing is its tree knocking down abilities. We have just carved our way through and now we're in the water. Good. I don't get why we're going to the water though. Still, I mean, I know a lot of you guys probably don't get why we're going to the water either, but um, yeah, maybe it's designed so it can actually go in in small bits of water. No, it is actually floating. It is actually floating. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh oh, there's water! There's water coming in! Hang on, where is that coming from? Close the gu close the doors where the water might come in. Alright, we filled up a lot. Okay, open this up. Open this up and do this. I think that might be able to get rid of that water. We're gonna do the same on this side. Where does this- what the- I don't understand. I, I guess we can go through like shallow water with this. But I don't know why you'd want to. I mean, I guess I do know why you'd want to. You can't go for bridges. <laughs> There's no way this thing would go over a bridge. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so can we still fire the guns while in the water and pretend to actually be a ship? Uh, the answer is maybe. Uh, reload cannons, press three. Is it working? I'm holding three. Is it actually going to load them up? I don't know. I think they're ready to fire already. Three, two, one. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, that's sick. I didn't quite hit the bridge. I wanted to, but never mind. So yeah, we are actually a little bit trapped in the water here because we can't actually 
Like, it doesn't have any propellers to be able to make it move. So we're just sort of stuck here now. That's a bit of a yikes. Okay, so I, did, I decided to respawn it to see how big it was compared to, I don't know, the hangar. It is smaller than the hangar, but uh, honestly, not by much. Not by much at all. Uh, and also, it is actually bouncing <laughs> quite a bit. That's uh, it's an interesting design choice. <laughs> anyway, uh, get inside. Yes, let's start up all the engines again. Heck yeah, good. All right, close this up. Obviously, we do have a bunch of equipment in this room with the gearboxes. Um, okay, that's good. I feel like we should have better gearboxes. I'm not going to lie. I feel like we should, but never mind. Anyway, get in the driver's seat and gear up. Turn the handbrake off and go. It's a bit bouncy, but it works. All right, so I decided instead of actually moving the beast, let's go ahead and get inside the guns and try and test out the guns themselves. So we're going to aim down onto there. Unfortunately, this one in the middle doesn't actually change zoom. Uh, or it does, but it doesn't change like the same as the rest of them, if that makes sense. Uh, but we're going to try and annihilate four of my IFVs. So, by the left gun. Okay, we did actually hit the target, but it didn't die. Okay, and then fire the right gun. Uh, did it die that time? I don't think it did. I think it's still there. All right, reload. Reload! Go, go, go! All right, I think the left side's actually reloaded already. So aim, fire. Ooh! Did that hit the target? I feel like it did. Uh, is our IFB still there? It is not still there. Okay, turn to the right a little bit. Fire! Oh, I missed with that one. I missed with that one. Okay. Left side, right side. Uh, as soon as it's in the middle of the screen, maybe that'll work. All right, three, two, one. Is this going to work? Hang on. Fire. Yes. All right, we hit the target. Did it die? I think it did. Nice. Okay, so the guns on this, um, not amazingly easy to fire, uh, but they do work. Um, so that's pretty, pretty good. Oh, I should say aim. They're very, very easy to fire. They're just very hard to aim. Uh, we have our anti-aircraft guns on the side as well. Clearly... They are for anti-aircraft, so I can't shoot through this fence, uh, which is really annoying, because that's where the uh, the tracks are, or the tanks, I should say. Um, but never mind. All right. Look at the damage they do. Yeah, these are really cool. These are really, really cool. Anyway, uh, this was just a quick video to check out this tank. Um, I might use it again in the future. I'm not entirely sure. Or I might build something myself that looks a lot like this. Or just like a completely different version of a land ship. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I just wanted to add this in afterwards. Apparently it is actually amphibious. But apparently it doesn't move very well. And I don't know how you actually make it move in amphibious mode. Or in, in boat mode. So yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video.